What is up, guys? So today, I don't really have a anime or a manga story for y'all. Yeah! But something that I hope that y'all let me indulge in, which is more in the realm of Western comics. Now, if y'all didn't know this about me already, I'm a pretty big TMNT fan. So much that I've been getting back into the comics in the last two years and have been having a blast, even though that... You know, that it's not exactly following the way that I would like to see the turtles depicted, but it is definitely different. And on some level, I do welcome it. I do kind of wish that they would get back to the old turtles that I fell in love with. And that's something that I'm hoping to see with this new reboot that IDW is going to be having for the turtles in July. For the last 50 issues, there's been a lady by the name of Sophie Campbell working on turtles. She's kind of been exploring more relationships within the TMNT universe more than the action and the fighting but she has also done a few things that are a little interesting like having an entire mutant town uh they just finished the armageddon game stuff where they kind of gave the turtles a spiritual key or spiritual powers kind of along the lines of avatar a little bit all kind of cool concepts but i am ready to get back to more traditional turtle stories and that is what i'm hoping to see with the new writer that's going to be picking it up uh jason aaron now if the name sounds familiar to you it's probably because he was the writer on female thor now i do have a little bit of hope that jason isn't going to do exactly everything that he did in female thor because i mean he does have a history of writing for wolverine hulk and original thor but there's also this quote right here from jason from ign where he says in terms of what's to come the kid in me wants you to know that you can't expect some good old-fashioned grit, a sprinkle of dark, new attitude, and all the bone-cracking action that four mutant ninja brothers can possibly handle. Now, that does fill me with hope that he is, you know, an, an older writer, a fan of old school turtles, and hopefully he'll bring it back to what a majority of people enjoy about turtles. So it does fill me with a little bit of hope. But now we can't talk about the writer without also talking about the artists that are going to be on the book. A spectacular lineup of four artists that are going to do the first four books with one of them taking over after those four initial issues. And I definitely have my favorite of the four. Uh, but the first one we got up for issue one is Joel Jones. Now I love that the first issue is going to feature Raph because Raph is my favorite of all four of the turtles and the fact that he's getting a feature on issue one just fills me with amazing joy and I can't wait to see that first issue have it in my hand see the variants get all the variants and just I want to get an idea of where Turtles is going to be heading. The second issue is going to be done by Raphael Abakirk and this is also going to be the person that actually draws Jason's run of the series after these initial four issues. Now, don't hate this design. I think the only thing that really throws me off is Mikey's face, but I'm hoping after a few issues of seeing just his work, I'll be used to it and it won't bother me as much, but I love the absolute detail that we have in the shell, we have in the ribs, we have in the, the the chest, the knees, the legs. Just, it's amazing. It's just that face that's throwing me off. Uh, issue three is going to be done by Cliff Chiang. Now, this was my favorite of the four artists just because what he has done is it looks to me like he has mixed both the cartoon and the comics together and given it that gritty, but also kind of the smooth style that the cartoon had. And I, I love this. I I, I wish this was going to be the art for the full series, but I'm going to enjoy issue three just as much as the other four. And I, I really hope that he comes back later and either does some guest art. I just would like to see him do more issues than just number three. Uh, the fourth artist is Chris Burnham. Now I do like his art. It's a little more deconstructed, a little more gritty, a little more reminiscent of old school turtles and i do like this like this is a very dynamic pose for donnie if that shell is what i think it is and it's the uh metal shell that donnie got during the first 150 issues because by the way that IGN's describing it, that this isn't like a full on reboot, but kind of like a, a volume two to the first 150 issues. But it's probably going to be like we're going to keep 
the things that we like, but we're doing a full on reboot. And I think we'll understand that more when it comes out, because if they bring Splinter back, then this is just going to be a reboot. Like if he just shows up with no explanation, it's just a full reboot. But I am excited to see it. Now, the one thing that I haven't seen announced is that Kevin Eastman has always done a cover for the first 150. Like he's always been a part of it. But as of yet, we haven't seen any or heard any about what his involvement is in the continuation of Turtles is going to be. So I'm starting to wonder if after issue 150 that he's going to softly bow out and he's just kind of done with Turtles, which will be a sad end to an era. But hey, I get it. You got to move on at some point, right? I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all like Turtles, don't like Turtles, don't want to see this again, uh, let me know in the comments below. But be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see y'all on the next one, guys.